Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the Book of Unwritten Tales, episode 3. Um, so I'm just trying to remember what we had to do. I believe we were trying to find a parachute, having already found a map and a helmet. So without further ado, let's get back to it. Save of epicity. That's not really a word. And loading. So yeah, we're trying to get together some supplies, bizarrely including a parachute. So we can go down to, I think it was Seastone, to find the Archmage and deliver, although I'm not expecting a statue to deliver, the Ring of Destiny. Not actually called the Ring of Destiny, but that's what we're going to call it. Um, I imagine things are going to go awry on our journey down there. Uh, or at any rate, the Archmage isn't just going to take the ring and say thanks. I'll go and finish the war now, and that'll be it. Because I know this is a ten-hour-long game, and it seems like a hard thing to f stretch out to ten hours. And here we are. So in our inventory, Ring of Destiny, uh, empty coffee pot, a net, an elven rope, very useful. A toolbox, also very useful. A rucksack, I imagine will be useful. A tennis racket frame, not so much. Super fertilizer, I'm sure it'll come in useful for something. What? God knows. A map of the region. And a helmet for heroes. Right. So... I think we've looked at everything in here we would need to look at. Although the stove is still highlighted, as is the dirty crockery. I'd point it out to the master brewer, but then I'd be the one who ends up washing it all up. That's a very good point. And the dirty crockery is gone. So now, ah, that's also highlighted. So let's have a look at that. So who's a good idea in the adventure game? Oh, well Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. Each battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. Dwarves have this thing for the number seven. No, it's very fitting, being a member of the 77 Y. And as you can see, that's now disappeared from our things we can look at. So it's always useful in adventure games, they're going to go around and look at everything. It's a bit time consuming, a bit tedious sometimes. But it means that you cancel out a lot of... Um, a lot of things you don't think, oh, the dirty crockery might be useful because, as you can plainly see, it's not because we can no longer look at it. The stove is still a little warm. You couldn't cook anything on it, but you could eat something up. Okay, and the stove, as you can see, we can still use. So that's a bit of a clue there. So I imagine we have to use the stove for something in the future. But what that is, I have no idea. So for now, we'll uh, pop along. That's the Master Brewer's favourite spot. He likes to relax there in the evenings. What else we got? Nothing. Ooh, some pipes. Or a pipe. Let's have a look at that. Let's see where's to stay. Actually, dwarfs are a thing for beautiful architecture. But when it comes to the beer supply, compromises are sometimes made. Yeah, I was just about to say, that's not very beautiful. Ah, the rat hole's still highlighted. To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good no. reason. No. Maybe rotten food, or even more rot Very good point. I used to be really afraid of that fireplace. Nowadays, I'm only slightly <laughs> Ah, poor boy. Fireplace is gone. So, uh, let's have a chat with the Master Brewer, see if he's got anything useful to say. I doubt it somehow, because I think he might be a bit pissed. But, you never know. Hello, Master Brewer, sir! Aye, aye, Wilbur. Uh, yeah, might as well give it a go. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a parachute, would you? <laughs> That's a good one. I'll take that as a no. I didn't think so. When the robot started in on you, I never thought you'd beat it. <laughs> it was an epic scrap, lad, an epic scrap. Morph, 
against machine, nature against technology, mind over matter. Hmm. Mind? How did you destroy it? I hit him as hard as I could <laughs> with heavy objects until sparks started leaping out of him. Oh, a shrewd tactic. Too right. Is it? But he did land a couple on me. Look what he did to my beard. Ah, oh, um. Uh, yes. Oh dear. I was so tanked up with ale and adrenaline I didn't even notice. Okay, so, uh. See if we could convince him about the importance of the Ring of Destiny. I talked to my granddad. He thinks the ring is important too. He wants to help me get to the human town. Yeah? Well, of course he wants to do that. Listen to me, laddie. Nothing against your grandpa. But don't you think he's uh, a few gills short of a pint? Hey, that's my, my granddad. He's a great soldier and inventor. Well, his granddad. Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. But, uh, how should I put it? He's Careful. maybe had one crash landing too many. Well. His flying machines were mostly a bit, uh, temperamental. And let's face it, he wasn't actually the greatest of pilots. Um. Honestly, son, if your grandpa reckons there's something in that story, then for me, that's just one more reason to keep out of it. Grandad and I will show everyone. He I have to go. Probably has a point Enjoy there. the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so looks like we're done with him. So let's uh, head off out into the big wide world. Well, especially big for him, being a gnome. Uh, ooh, stretched out top pull, and that could be a parachute. The tarps are supposed to offer the stone masons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. Ah, we can take it. Right. I'm not climbing up there. It's all oh. iced up. I'd probably end up breaking my neck. No. Oh. Uh, right. Could we use the rope? No. Could we use the net? Don't think so. Could could we whack it with the tenant? No. Could can we do anything? No. Why can't you do it? Why are you so small? That's a bit racist. Ooh, an icicle. Of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. But this year, winter came particularly early. Ta-da! We have an icicle. It worked. I got one. Well done. You did. Can we cut it? No. Of course we can't. That'd be far too easy. What's that? Oh, a big statue. Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. Apparently the statue is not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than the others do. Fair enough. Uh, anything else around here? Ah, look at the bastion as a whole. The bastion looks so impressive. However, many of the halls and corridors were never completed. Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed to live here to defend the Mountain Kingdom's northern front. Now the Master Brewer and my family are the only ones left. Oh. Oh well. Big house. Ah. Enter the Dwarf Bastion. Does that just take us back to the brewery, however? I think it might. Yes. Uh, What else? Well, we can go back home. Or... What? We need to... Oh, we can't get the top wall in now. Not selectable. Balls. Okay, well we might as well go back home and see what we can find there. I still think that thing over gr the grandpa's machine could be a pretty good parachute if it just let us take it. Um, ah, now could I have used the toolbox on it? Hmm, what do we have in the toolbox anyway? Can we whack it with the tennis racket? Oh, I can't reach that. No, I know you can't. Whack it with the tennis racket. That won't work. I might hit it, but I don't really want to break its wings. Oh, can we combine the net, the tennis I'll racket? The loose ends around the frame. Hey. Done. Wouldn't want to play tennis with it, but it does make a fine scoop net. Yes, it does. And now, can we use this to catch Nemo? Yes, we can. Come here, you little fish. Hurry up about it. Oh, oh, oh. Useless. 
Absolutely useless. Gotcha. Hey. One Nemo. Excellent. Move you up in the world. Now. Hmm. Doesn't look like Mother planted anything in there. Hmm. Can we check? Why should I fertilize potting soil when there's nothing planted in it? I don't know. Why should you do anything? Can we use it on the plants to make really big plants? No. That'd be cool, but we're also kind of pointless. Uh, the grain mills still there, so I presume that's useful for something. Hmm. There's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Ah. Let's take the barley out. Oh, got ourselves a bit of barley. Bugger knows what we're going to do with that. And the grain mill's now gone. So let's uh, go back to his room and see if we can uh, find anything else to take in there. I don't think there was anything left, but worth a check. Okay. And... It looks like a screwdriver down there, but we can't take it, apparently. Teddy bear? No. No, nothing. Still the chair, though. A totally uninteresting chair, which is absolutely no help to me. Not now, not ever. I think it might be the key to save the universe. Just a guess, but... Right. Oh, might as well go down and talk to Grandad. Tell him our progress. And down we go. Yep, down we go indeed. Okay, anything... Oh, still that. They used to hang all over the hall. Now these two are all we have left. I, s I really think you should take it. Can you... Where's my net gone? Where... Did you drop the net? You are incompetent. God damn it. He's lost our net. One of the only useful things we had. What if we need to catch something? What are you going to need? Lasso it? That made me laugh. No wonder your dad used to put you in a vice. I don't think he did. Bit dark if he did. Hello, Grandad. Um, excuse me. Colonel Grandad? Oh yeah, Colonel Grandad. Yes, report back. Okay. Well, we can't expect any help from the Master Brewer. He doesn't believe the ring is important. I didn't expect much more from that cowardly drunkard. No, well, Grandad, that's kind of fair, boss. to be honest. Some boss sits in his fortress drinking beer from dawn till dusk while his comrades are fighting on the front line. I think he misses them. Well, perhaps. But one thing's for sure. We are on our own, soldier. Yeah, we are. We found a helmet. I have the pot. Um, um, helmet. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. soldier. The helmet will protect you from physical attacks. You can even sit on it. And use it as a saucepan. Ah, Ooh, it's looking more useful already. Let me see your helmet. I, I feel like me it's and him have a I know, but kind of mental connection. I always seem to say what he says. It's a good helmet. And um, going to protect a good soldier. That's a terrible that animation. Is, of course, as long as the enemy doesn't attack with dragons, or has wizards in its ranks, or magical swords, and doesn't go for your head. Maybe I should look for some armor with magic. Poppycock! That helmet will do. Uh, okay. I got a map. Excellent. My commanding officer always said good maps are half the battle. Of Excellent. course, you won't be needing it if everything goes well. Well. If what goes well? But if not, it's always <laughs> good to have a map with you. What? I'll go look for the rest of my gear. You do that. I've got enough to do here. Ah, uh, so he's Take not going to give us a parachute. Of the ring. It's your I'm not going to lose the ring of death, actually. Right. I don't trust him at all. He'd probably just chuck it somewhere. Like the net that you lost. Hey, look. That doesn't look safe at all. So, looks like we've exhausted everything in here. Um, there's still the vice. Anything we can do with the vice? Mm, no. And the jellyfish. Oh no, even the jellyfish lamp's gone now. So, yeah. Go and find the parachute. 
Still looking for the bloody parachute. They could be parachute, no, apparently not. No parachute there, no parachute around here. <sighs> so, can we still look at the tarpaulin? Oh, even the tarpaulin's gone now. That would be a perfect parachute. Alright, let's go into the Dwarf Bastion see what we can do. Well, we can't do anything in here either. Alright, what have we got? We've got some grain. We've got a fish. An icicle. Or icicles, apparently. Super fertilizer, rock sack. Tool, elf rope, the ring, empty coffee pot. <sighs> and we're meant to save the world. What a joke. Broken robot. Nothing we can do with that, really. Uh, can we put you back? No, it's empty. What's the point? Can we put the ice cool? Why would we want water, though? I don't... No, that's stupid. Well, it's worth a go. You never know. It'll take a long time for the icicle to melt. After all, the pot isn't all that warm. I should speed up the melting process. Yes, you should. Okay, so we're going to get water. Why we're going to get water, I'm not sure yet. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure it will come to it me when the time is right. to melt the icicle. The stove is still warm. The icicle is gone. All that's left is crystal clear water. Excellent. Crystal clear water. Now what? Um, can we have a... No. Okay, can we put Nemo in the bag? No. I don't know why I want to do that anyway. Can we... Ah, can we plant the barley then use... Why would we want barley? <sighs> can we do anything... No. Ah, and the stove's gone. So we've now exhausted everything in here. Which, you know, it is both good and bad. Good because we know that that room is now useless. Bad because that room is now useless and there's, we know there's no parachute in there. And I have very few ideas about where there might be a parachute. Still the right hole though. Um, right. Where's our extendable arm gone? Did you... Why do you keep dropping everything? Does he have anything useful to say? This is the first time in a long time I've actually seen the Master Brewer happy. I'd rather oh. not disturb him. Fair enough, fair enough. That's very nice of you. Can we put the barley... No. Can we put... No. Uh, can we put the... No, that's probably a terrible idea. Giant rats. Can we... No. We don't want to do that. Uh, what about Nemo? Can you go and live in... No. Okay. So it looks like the rat hole might be useful for something, but I'm not sure what. And there's a chair, the, but the, I think the chair's just a joke. Ah, oh, and that's gone, has it? Uh, uh, can we use the barley? Oh, no. Can we... Why have we got a coffee pot with crystal clear water? Oh, I am so lost. So, I take it we can't walk up these things? No, he's too small. That must be our parachute. Hmm. So, nothing to do with the Dwarf Bastion. Didn't seem to be much to do at home. We could try planting the barley in the empty plant pot. And then using the super fertilizer to grow it. Why? Yeah, I can't tell you. But we could do that. Right, plant the barley I in the flower pot. With one handful of barley, why do I need two then? I don't know. I don't know anything. Can we water it? No. Can we use a super fertilizer? No. We can use it on that. Uh, no. Can you just? I don't even know what to do with one handful of barley. Why do I need two then? Well, give it a go. Right. So with other two rooms that we haven't tried yet. Oh no, apparently we can't pull those. Wow, we are really exhausting all these options. What about the clock? Is that useful? Sometimes I think that thing uses time up instead of just showing it. 
Yeah, I get how he feels. Uh, yeah, there's a picture. There's the chair. What can we do with the chair? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Parachute, parachute, parachutes. How on earth can we make a parachute? Ha. Huh. Well, let's I'm keep trying to figure it out. Yeah, down we go indeed. You always get to these points in adventure games where you have no idea what to do. And it always ends up being really, really bloody obvious or really annoyingly obscure. There's still the vice as well. Can we use anything with the vice? The ring. Cannot use the ring with the vice. The rope. Didn't think so. Toolbox? No. The rock sack? No. Super. Well, of course not. Map? No. Nemo? Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Apparently, we can use Nemo with the vice. Oh, why are we doing that? It's stuck. Poor thing. Oh, that's what I thought. The flying fish is now firmly clamped into the vice. What on earth? Um, okay. Toolbox. I don't want to break it. At least, not without a good reason. Well, that's what I was thinking, but apparently, you can put it in the there. The flying fish is now firmly clamped into the vice. Um, why would we want to do that? Tip water on it. No, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. Top, tip water on Grandad. No, apparently not. Give him some barley. Give him a map. No. Make him grow. Make you grow. No. Um, give him the root. No. And so all we've got is a mechanical fish and a vice. How that makes a parachute, I don't know. Let's see. What are we here? Wrench, pliers, pliers ogre grease, grease, a minor minotaur foot, foot, a curse, curse meter. meter. Huh. Okay. I presume these are all things that are going to come in a bit later when we need to help the granddad. Um. So nothing over here? No. When we need to help the granddad make the uh, machine, whatever machine we're going to travel in. So, you know, it's not completely useless. Okay, so definitely nothing in there. I don't trust that chair. But I don't know what to do with it. So we'll leave it for now. Right. Can we use the toolbox on... No, we, c we just can't do anything with that now. Can we walk this direction? Ah! There's no way I can walk all the way to Seastone. That's many days march through these mountains. Yeah, but can you just go over there? No. No, okay. I was hoping there might be something over there, but apparently not. Um, oh, we've done the Dwarf Bastion, there's nothing in there. Oh, getting a little bit freezy. Right. Let's have a think. What to do, what to do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I had a think. Um, and then I checked the walkthrough. There's no shame in it. Sometimes these things happen in adventure games. And uh, look what we missed. A big roll of tarpaulin. Right there. Right under our noses. So go and have a look at that. I already know what it does because I read the walkthrough. And he looks like a twat a with his uh, helmet on. Probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. Probably exactly like that. So pick that up. Put that giant roller top all and into your trousers somehow. And now to make a parachute, well that's quite logical. The rope with the top all in. Thread the rope through the eyes around the edge of the top all in. Done. There we go. And of course you need to put it in a rucksack. Let's see. If I pull the rope through the eyes on the rucksack, yes, that should work. Da da. Parachute. One parachute. So let's head off back that's to Grandad. 
I must get back to Grandad fast. Agreed. So let's get back to Grandad and tell him that we got everything we need. And uh, see what insane contraption he's built for us to ride in. So down we go. And down we go. Off to you, sir. Hello, Grandad. Got a parachute, mate. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad. Yes, report back. I have a parachute. Fantastic. Parachutes are hard to come by and are difficult to make yourself. Yeah, especially when you can't see top all, all. You'd only want to entrust your life in a quality product. Oh. Not something makeshift you've patched together yourself. Oh. That's my life. But of course. I, I mean I mean of course not. Oh. So, that's the last of my gear. Great success. Victory is us. We could get going if only my damn machine would work. But you can't find a thing in this house. Oh dear. No nitroglycerin. No dragon hide armor. No. No concentrated pillars of salt. No. No full mithril jacket bullets. Nothing. No. Well, I'm. What? what do you need all that for? For what? It's a war. But we just want to deliver the ring to the archmage. Don't you think a sled? What? I need a nitroglycerin substitute. Um. So the explosive. The only thing that um, comes to mind is good old dwarven oh, ale. Well, we can get dwarven that. Dwarven ale, devilish stuff. We reduced complete countries to ash and rubble with it. We loved the smell of dwarven ale in the morning. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll get you some copyright. dwarven ale. Anything else? Yes, I need a cog. Well, oh, we can probably a get one of those off the robot. Screw steel sprocket, oh. straight beveled. Hard chrome plated BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. It's not a standard size and I can't find one anywhere. Ah. Hmm. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket straight beveled hard chrome plated BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and locking lock ring. Sounds familiar. Is Come it? back when you've got the stuff. Ah, uh, I think I know where we might find one of those. But remember, you leave a free gnome and free you are. What will you do with that freedom? Will you fight? Right. We will fight or run. Either way. We'll do something. And what I must do, ladies and gentlemen, is end this episode. I'm um, sorry it was just me running around around in circles for ages. Trying to find a parachute. But, you know, this is the way adventure games go sometimes. We have our parachute. Now we just need to get the infernal co contraption of destiny working. And uh, we'll get on with... Uh, our quest to save the world. So thank you for watching. I've been Johnny Maverick. And uh, I hate parachutes. Until next time. Goodbye.